everyone Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you and this time I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Windows 11 22h2 with a local account Windows and Microsoft in particular has been making it more difficult with Windows 11 forcing you to sign in with a Microsoft account but not everyone has one or wants one I'm going to show you exactly how to do this between the home edition and the pro edition which are actually different if you're using the Pro Edition of Windows, you'll see it's real simple. When you get to this point, you basically have the options to sign in with a personal account, which forces you to use a Microsoft login, or a work or a school account, which will then assume that you're on a domain of some sort, but you can actually choose to sign in with a local account. Again, they're trying to encourage you to sign in with a Microsoft account, but you can click on Sign In Options, and then you'll see your other options here. Just scroll down a bit and click on join a domain instead. You're then prompted to just enter in the local name that you want to use and then create a password. And it's as simple as that using the Pro Edition of Windows 11. If you're using the Home Edition of Windows 11 and you get the wireless connected first before you get to this point or have a network cable plugged in, you're going to get this screen where you're forced to sign in with a Microsoft account. There's nothing else you can do from here. There's no other buttons to click. All we can do is try and do one of these tricks. So the first thing that you want to do is if it's a network cable, unplug that. And then once that's unplugged, you can do the next step. Or if it's a wireless, turn off the wireless on your computer or just unplug your wireless router if you have to. Once you've disconnected your internet, just reboot the computer. And unfortunately, the only way to do that is to hold down the power button and crash it. Once the computer reboots, you'll be having to go through these option choices again. When you get to this point where it's screaming at you, telling you that your ethernet cable is not plugged in or to connect to a wireless network, don't do it. Instead, what you wanna do is hold down the shift key and press F10 on your keyboard. Now you're gonna to wanna to type in the following command, OOBE backslash bypass N R O and then just press enter. You'll see that the command was successfully run and the computer will start rebooting automatically. Again, once the computer restarts, you're going to have to go through selecting these options again. Now, this time it's going to be a little different where you'll see an option to choose I don't have internet even though you know that's not true at the moment we've disconnected the internet so just click I don't have internet then click on continue with limited setup and now instead of being prompted to sign in with a Microsoft account you're able to just type in the name that you want to use as a local account and then choose a password now you can just continue on selecting the rest of the options to finish with the installation of your Windows 11 Home Edition. And if you're having any issues with bypassing the Microsoft account login, another trick that was mentioned was using a banned email address to sign in with. So using something like no at thank you dot com is a banned email address and if you put that in and use any password at all it's going to fail and you'll get a message saying that something went wrong but then when you go to the next screen you'll be able to choose a local account instead and hopefully between one of these few options you'll be able to sign in locally and not be forced to use a Microsoft account. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.